let's discuss about another word embedding technique, glove. That is, global vectors for word representation. In this technique, we map each word to some high dimension vector. Suppose if man is to women, then king is to fill in the blank. Such type of problem can be solved by glove. It will return answer as queen. We will use pre-trained model here. You can download pre-trained glove from this site. I will paste this link in the description below. Click on this glove.6b.zip. Extract the file and keep it in the folder where your python file will be located. I have already extracted the file. This is the file or folder. If I open this folder, there are total of 4 files with different dimension. I will use 50 dimensions glove in this video. You can check others file by yourself. Now, let's do code. First you have to import several packages like numpy, pandas, and os. Then, check the current working directory. I am inside this folder right now. Whereas my all python file is located at this path. So, I have to change the directory. I have to add this path more. And I am doing the same thing. Let me check my current working directory again. Now, my current working directory got matched to the directory where my thisglove.py file is located. I can list the directory that are inside my glove.6b folder. There are so many glove files with different dimension. As I have mentioned before, I will use glove file of 50 dimensions. Now, I have to read my file. For this, I have made one function that take my file name as a parameter. Then, inside this function, I have to open my file in red mode. I have one empty set. Do you know about set? In set, there will be no duplicate element. All the elements are unique to each other. In this set, I will store my all vocabulary. Next, I have one empty dictionary where I will store all the vectors of a particular word. I will iterate over each line of my file. Remove the white space at the beginning or at the end of that line. Split the line and put them into the list so that I can iterate over that line. Then, I will add my vocabulary in the set. Let me show you, what my file looks like. You can see, in the index 0, I have vocabulary and after index 0, I have word vector of that vocabulary. Same for other line also. This is my vocabulary. And this is corresponding word vector. I want to add only vocabulary in my set and all vocabulary with their corresponding word vector in my dictionary. So, here I have to pass zero index. That is, add vocabulary in my set. And in my dictionary, I have to add vocabulary as my key and word vector as my values. I hope you know, dictionary has key value pair. And I have to add my word vector as an array and also, I have to slice index from 1 to the end of that line. Finally, print the length of word vocabulary. And return word vocabulary and their corresponding word vector. Let me execute this function. Next, I have to call my function. I have to pass my file name as an argument. This step may take 30 second or 1 minute to execute. Next, I have made one function to calculate cosine similarity. In my previous video, that is in my project 1. I have imported cosine similarity from scikit-learn. But this time, let me implement this function. You know the formula to calculate cosine similarity. That is, numerator will be dot product between vectors. And denominator will be the product of their magnitude. Pause the video and look this function by yourself. This is how you can calculate cosine similarity. That is, 
if you calculate Euclidean distance between two similar vectors and if the size of two similar vectors vary a lot. Then, their Euclidean distance will be high and they are considered unsimilar vector which is false. So, we use cosine similarity where the angle between them will be measured. So, size doesn't matter this time. If you want to learn more about cosine similarity, feel free to pause the video and search about it. Now, let's predict the output. We have already obtained word to vector from our pre-trained glove file. Using that file and using cosine similarity, we can find the similarity between two vocabulary. Let's see the similarity score between king and queen. It returns 78%. That means, king and queen are similar to each other. Let me pass two unsimilar words, father and apple. It returns 26%. That means, father and apple are not similar to each other. Let me pass man and women which are very related to each other. It returns 88%. That means, they are very similar word. Next, for clothes and shoes. It returns 86% which is also true. Because both of these we wear. Next, let me pass unsimilar words, water and USA. It returns 14%. That means, these words are not similar to each other. You can see, how accurate these results are. You can also find some word which you may get wrong prediction. But that's okay. It is working pretty well. You can check some other words by yourself. We have used pre-trained glove vectors for word representation. If you have any doubt, ask me in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe my channel IG Tech Team. I will meet you soon. Stay safe and keep learning.